Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and this is the Cecropia moth, the largest native North American moth. Check this out. This is a Cecropia moth. This is the largest native moth in the United States. Check that out. That thing's almost as big as my hand. Wow, that is beautiful. Now this is the largest native species of moth that we have here in North America, but we also have an invasive species called the Cynthia moth. And the Cynthia moth just gets a little bit bigger by wingspan, but this is actually the largest native species. Now, this moth is absolutely amazing. There's lots of huge moths that we have here in the United States, but this is by far the coolest one to me. The only other time I found a moth like this was actually when I was in kindergarten. That's how long it's been since I found one of these moths. Her wing is definitely broken right here at the tip. You can see that right there. Now, what's really cool, they have these little antenna, these little feathery, feathery antenna up here. That's very cool looking. You can see that right there. And that's for them to sense around, to feel things. And they have a really big body and little clawed feet for them to grip onto this. You can see she's gripping right onto this willow tree and that's very cool. Now I can't touch her wings at all because they actually have scales and if I were to touch her, the scales on her wings would actually come off. Wow, that is such, such a cool moth. Something so crazy to see and something very rare. This is the only time of year you're actually gonna see one of these moths. Now, with something really cool, after they lay their eggs, they'll lay it on a very specific tree. This right here is a willow, but they'll also lay them on elm, wild cherry. There's a couple of different specific trees that the larva will actually eat. And when the larva hatch, you'll see these little green spiky caterpillars, but they're not stingers, they're actually just little spikes. And they're very cool looking and very weird, but what they'll do is they'll spend most of their life on a tree, the same tree that they were born on, and they'll eat the leaves until they become large enough to go into their metamorphous state. And what they'll do is they'll wrap themselves in silk and they'll make a cocoon. And while they're in their cocoon, they will actually change form, basically during that time, from going to a caterpillar, then they'll be wrapped in a cocoon, and then they have their moth stage, which is the shortest stage of their life, actually, with only two weeks of actually being the moth, which is really a bummer, because it's the prettiest time and most beautiful time of this animal's life. And it's really cool, but they actually don't even eat. Something crazy about this moth, it doesn't have a mouth and they don't eat anything. We think about butterflies have their little mouth part to eat nectar and all kinds of other little stuff like that. But this moth does not actually have that. They do not eat for their two weeks of being a moth. They breed, they lay their eggs on a tree like this and then they die. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to gently get her onto my hand. I'm not going to grab her. That would hurt her and it would rip the scales off of her wings. So what I'm going to do... You can see she opened up when I put my hand by her. And now what I want her to do is just her walk onto my hand. There we go. There we go. All right, nice and gently get her onto my hand. I can see that her wing is bent, and that's really a bummer. But wow, look at that moth. Beautiful, beautiful moth. And you can really see those feather-like antenna. Man, moths have some of the coolest antenna I have ever seen has a really fat body. Moths really have fatter bodies than butterflies. Butterflies normally have a long skinny body, whereas moths have this little stockier build. It's really cool. She's got all these little claws on her feet, and she looks like velvet. And it's actually little scales all over that are covering her body. Man, this is the most beautiful moth I've ever seen. Largest moth, native moth to North America. Now, really, the only reason we're getting to see one of these moths, I believe, is because we actually had a really rough rainstorm this morning and uh, it actually I think it may have moved her from where she originally was and I actually think that's why her wing is a little bit messed up because she had to deal with that this morning maybe the wind or the rain broke that it's really a bummer that her wing is broken but she is coming to the end of her life cycle she probably will lay her eggs and die in the next 24 to 48 hours but wow that is beautiful that we are getting the opportunity to spend some time with this little moth coolest moth I have ever seen. Man, that is just so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, that is outrageous. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time.